Hey guys, welcome back. And hello, if you are new, my name is Sarah and I make lots of different food type videos on my channel like what's for dinner and school lunch videos. Um, so if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join our little family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be actually the first of the year <laughs> school lunches for my girls. If you've never seen my channel before um, or don't know anything about my kids, I have two girls. My oldest is five, she's about to be six next month and her name is Olive and she is in kindergarten this year and my youngest is Eleanor and she's about to be four in March and she is in preschool this year. They both obviously were gonna go to school as usual, but with the pandemic and everything, we're actually doing virtual learning. Ollie is doing uh, distance learning with her kindergarten in her local elementary school. And Eleanor, I have a background in preschool education, so I am teaching her. Um, so we actually do all of our lunches at home, um, but we go to, pretty often we go to my mother's house um, for school. We kind of set up a school room there. Sometimes we stay home depending on the weather, depending on, just life um but basically their lunches are at home um but i still pack them up and so these are perfect for you guys if you do send your kiddos to school if you do at home they will just they'll check both your boxes i believe um i did film a big chunk of my school lunches or their school lunches at the beginning of this year but honestly it was so crazy and hectic to get used to virtual learning and to be honest it's still kicking my butt virtual learning is so much harder than i thought it was going to be um and so i just never posted them and i it just got way too far behind and i was like no one's gonna want to see like back to school lunches <laughs> at this point because it's gosh darn october so instead we are doing our spooky lunches um, so I have four days of just fun, spooky Halloween lunches that are easy to recreate. I know this next week is going to be Halloween if you're watching this um, in real time, but if you're watching this in the future, um, these lunches are super, really e super easy to replicate. A lot of these things you probably already have on hand or just really easy and accessible to get and you don't have to be some awesome, crazy, wonderful bento box maker, um, but they were still really fun and the girls really enjoyed them and loved that they were spooky. So I will try to make sure I have all of their stuff linked down below as far as the bento boxes we use and stuff like that um, and I did share I think at the beginning of this video kind of my supplies and where I keep them and stuff like that so if you want more school lunch videos please let me know down below I have fun making them and I think the girls obviously love the payoff from them um, but yeah let's just get started with the lunches shall we all right guys almost halfway through the school year and I'm just doing lunch videos <laughs> I actually filmed the first couple of weeks, but honestly, they were so chaotic because we were getting used to virtual learning. It was just kind of crazy, and now I can't find the footage. So we're just gonna start October um, with our lunches, and we're doing our Halloween lunches this week, next week. Um, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday is Halloween, so we still have a couple of weeks left for some fun Halloween lunches. Um, and so these are the girls' boxes. We do do virtual learning. Um, distance learning and sometimes we're at home but m the majority of the time we are at my mom's and so we do pack our lunches to go. Um, these are the girls lunch boxes that they chose this year. Eleanor chose LOL. She's super into LOL right now and then Ollie is super into anything sparkly and unicorn. This is from Justice. Um, so those are their lunches. And then we've been using the Bentgo boxes. Last year you saw I used a lot of the Yum box um, for Olive. Now Olive is in kindergarten. She's my oldest. She's about to be six next month. Um, she's in kindergarten and Eleanor um, is in preschool. They both would be going to school this year, but since you know COVID happened, we're doing virtual learning. Um, but I decided to switch it up and do Bentgo boxes instead of the Yum box, and I really, really like them. I think they're really easy to clean. Um, I like the space that they provide, and the girls really like them. So this one is Eleanor's. She likes all things unicorn as well, just like her sister. Um, and she actually had hers first, and then I ended up getting one for Olive because I was just going to use the Yum box for Olive, but I loved this one so much. I just love how much space there is. Um, it's just so convenient. I love the seal on it so I can put yogurt in there. 
um, or liquids or anything and it's not gonna spill and run everywhere. They're just great. And then Ollie's is the same. But she picked out this print because she really liked this one. So we are going to get started with their lunches this morning, but I just wanna kinda show you my supplies. So these are their um, lunch kits. I'll have everything linked below if I can find out on Amazon. That's where I got everything. Um, this is my lunchbox station. This is just a big plastic bin that I've had for a number of years that I got from Target or Walmart or something. And I just keep all of my tools in here. So we have our food picks in here, some of our little um, shape cutters, as well as our little uh, dip containers, a bunch of different um, cupcake liners. We have a sandwich holder or two sandwich containers. Um, we have a ton of napkins. Some of them are like character print, like this one's trolls. Um, some of them are just like emojis and stripes. And then we have a lot of, you would tell, we have a lot of Halloween. <laughs> and then we get into a few Christmas ones. I honestly need to get more Christmas because I have barely Christmas and I have a ton of Halloween. And then um, Valentine's Day. I have some more food picks down here. We have some Christmas ones some Easter ones, things like that, uh, some Halloween food picks. These little containers are from Dollar Tree. They're just like little Legos, and I use them for treats. We have a little spoon set, um, some googly eyes. These are from Daiso, I believe. Um, these little cutters, sandwich cutters. There's like a puzzle, puzzle um, and then a princess crown. And then these are our unicorn food picks. Basically all of it I just keep in here so it's all organized and easy to access when I need it. So this is my little station and kit that I have everything in. Um, and I'm just going to get the lunches ready and show you the rest. But I just want to show you kind of like our setup this year. So here is today's lunch. We're over at my mom's house and everything's all ready and all nice and cooked. Um, so they both have the exact same lunches today. So I'll just start over here. We just have these little um, like pigs in a blanket essentially. But they're kind of like my really fast mummy dogs. <laughs> um, instead of having the little mummies, you know, like wrap, we're just gonna have them be baby mummies in blankets or something. Um, so I just have these little eye picks that are from Daiso. Um, and then they have some vanilla yogurt with some Halloween sprinkles. Um, they have a little bit of the pirate's booty, um, some purple grapes and a couple of candy corn for their treat. And then they have a Country Time lemonade for their juice. And then the cute little napkins. I think I got these at Dollar Tree or Walmart, one or the other. And that is their Halloween lunch for today. So here's today's lunch. We got a spooky kitty. He's supposed to be, you know, like a black cat. But, you know, I don't have black bread. So he's a white cat with black whiskers and noses and stuff. Anyway, here's today's lunch. So I just made a turkey sandwich with some cheese and I cut it out in the shape of a cat with a cookie cutter from um, Walmart. And then I use edible food markers. It turned green, but I think it's because I had it in the fridge, but I promise you it's not mold. Um, edible food markers and I just drew a little cat's face. Um, then they both have some of these Utz Halloween mini cheese balls. Um, and then we have some snap pea crisp. I'm trying to get them to enjoy more vegetables. It's a challenge, specifically with Eleanor. <laughs> this is Eleanor's. Ollie has a few more. I am probably gonna get a little bit of ranch for them. Um, and then I just took a uh, cutie and I, oh, you know, took out the orange slices and then I made a little jack-o'-lantern, you know? Little things, the little things. <laughs> and they have some Kool-Aid Jammer. This is a tropical punch for their juice. And that is their spooky lunch for today. All right, so this is lunch for today. Um, I just made little, we just have little mini pizzas. And then I put some green olives for little eyes. And I took out some of the pimento and made little faces. They look cuter if you have mozzarella cheese going on them. So they look like mummies. But you know what? We got little goblin troll pizzas. And then we just have some green apple, and I just took some little plastic, you know, spiders um, from just like the Halloween party section and put them on the apples. And then they have green pea crisps for their crunchy bit, and that is lunch for today. And then they also have um, the little napkins, I think, from were from Walmart last year. But trying to go with the pumpkin, a little spider theme. Hopefully they like it and uh super easy and still kind of fun and kind of creepy 
right guys so it is friday this is the last meal that i am sharing with you guys this week so we had four spooky easy fun halloween meals um, like I said, I feel like a lot of these are super easy to make, and there's a lot of times things that you already have on hand, at least food-wise, um, and just little things you can easily pick up at Walmart that just make them easy and fun for the kiddos, especially if you're in a time crunch, like I have been lately. Um, so this is today's lunch. I just made um, little kebabs with some mozzarella cheese and some um, pepperonis. The girls really love those. And then we have two little small snackums, snackums, little gherkin pickles, um, and then some more pirate's booty and some grapes. And since our napkin um, today is all about candy and some um, gummy worms and uh, candy corn and suckers and stuff like that, I decided to um, give the girls a couple of fun gummy worms in their food so we have some gummy worms coming out of the grapes um the rest of them are right there and then some of the pirate's booty and then like I said these are actually from Walmart um I think they have different ones this year unfortunately they're not reusable these are just basic paper um but normally I do still try to reuse them but these are kind of already getting soggy so I won't be able to keep them but they're still really fun and cute and that is our just easy very easy spooky lunch for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me what you guys are doing for your kiddos or for yourself for f some fun spooky lunches or ideas like that and if you haven't already subscribed I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys